Hi, I'm Ryan McNally. I'm a senior, uh, center on the football team, and I'm from Larchmont, New York. I've been playing since fourth grade, so I think that's around nine or ten years. Other sports I played in high school, I played lacrosse, and uh, I went for the golf team one time. That didn't work out too well. But uh, I, st I stuck with football because that was uh, the best sport I could play going into college. It wasn't good enough to play lacrosse. Something not a lot of people know about me. Um, well, I'm a business major and I'm also an English major. I have a soft spot for reading and writing. Um, at one point I was a creative writing, writing minor too and I took a creative writing uh, playwriting class and we had to submit one of our plays to a New Works Festival in Pittsburgh and my play was a finalist. It didn't make the final cut but it was a top 15 play out of about 300 plays so it's one interesting fact about myself. My favorite thing about playing football at WNL is this the camaraderie in the team. Uh, I remember my freshman year, we started a week earlier than everybody else on campus uh, in terms of the other sports. So it was literally 80 guys on campus that were just football players. And it was, you know, instantly you made 80 friends. And when everyone came, you kind of had a little leg up meeting everybody. You knew a bunch of upperclassmen and the camaraderie is really great here at WNL, especially on the football team. If I could have one last meal, It'd probably be my mom's chicken and biscuits. She makes a really good chicken and biscuits. It's got like a good like chicken broth gravy and she makes some really sweet homemade biscuits. Um, so that would definitely be my send off meal. Uh, my plans for after graduation, uh, I'll actually be working in Richmond next summer uh, as an analyst for BB&T. Um, and that'll be at least one or two years there. Um, after that, um, I'll probably just keep uh, trying to get into uh, for the career in the financial world, so uh, that's what I've got planned so far. If I could have dinner with one person, I would have dinner with James Joyce, um, Irish writer from, uh, you know, wrote Ulysses and uh, a portrait, of an, por portrait of an Artist. Um, and I would have dinner with him because he wrote very vague work and he even quoted one time that he wrote all this work and, you know, some of it didn't make sense. So I really want to just have a good Q&A with him for a good three hours over a few beers and dinner and just see what got, you know, what was going on inside his head. Five words I would use to describe myself. I am a nice guy. That's five. My favorite school um, to road trip to would definitely be Catholic. It's the furthest north we go and I'm from New York. So usually my friends from Georgetown, um, Catholic, Maryland come out for that game. So. This is going to be a good one. I'm hoping all those guys come out again to see one last go at Catholic. If they made a movie about my life, which I doubt they would because it's a pretty boring life, they would probably cast Kevin Costner as me. I just think he's a phenomenal actor. I don't care how old he is. I think, you know, he would do the best job playing me. If my life had a soundtrack, it would probably include a lot of Bruce Springsteen, a lot of songs from Born to Run, and the river and the rising. Um, in fact, it would just be all Bruce Springsteen, I think. Uh, my favorite television show, and probably you've heard a lot, is Breaking Bad. And we got big Breaking Bad following on the team. Uh, last year when the final season was coming out, uh, we were going week to week, 15 guys just going to different houses each week. And in between each week, we were just theorizing what was gonna happen on the next episode. Probably distracted us a lot from you know, the day to day, what's going on in practice, but uh, that kept us entertained, got me through preseason last year, so pretty sad to see that one go. Pre-game rituals and superstitions that I have, I try to listen to a lot of Pink Floyd before every game. It's really an offbeat song, to you know, artist to listen to, but uh, he gets me pretty hyped for the games and gets me focused on what I need to do, so that's my only ritual I really have, not too superstitious. A hero in my life, I mean, you probably heard this too a lot, but got to be my mom and dad just supporting me everywhere I go um, really my whole family uh, is always there for me when I see them at games um, they go out of their way to drive eight hours down from New York to Lexington just to watch me play three hours of football and they were doing that my freshman year and I wasn't even seeing the field um, but just all around supporting me and um, I really hope they appreciate that I hope they know I appreciate that a lot and definitely heroes in my life Advice I would have for people trying to play football in college is just be attentive, always go 100%, always go full speed, always try and learn because you're going to get knocked down a few times. You're not going to transition easily from high school. 
Um, no one really does, but if you are just willing to learn and willing to do everything 100%, you'll really make it in college football in any way, shape, or form.